With touchscreen devices taking over family fun nights, and even some dinner tables, it can be hard to find something the whole family will enjoy that doesn't involve a phone or a tablet. Well, you're in luck, my friend. We at Paper Games can bring you some of the best quality board games for the holiday season that the whole family will enjoy. These games are easily learned for those friends or family who haven't heard of the modern board game, but also have enough strategy to keep experienced board gamers engaged. Family Fun Night is officially back with these family games, party games, and stocking stuffers. First up in our family-friendly board games, we have Forbidden Island. Dare to discover the Forbidden Island. Join a team of fearless adventurers on a do-or-die mission to capture four sacred treasures from the ruins of this perilous paradise. Your team will have to work together and make some pulse-pounding maneuvers as the island will sink beneath every step. Race to collect the treasures and make a triumphant escape before you are swallowed into the watery abyss. Forbidden Island is a great game. can play ages 10 and up, 2 to 4 players, and takes about 30 minutes. In Forbidden Desert, you'll gear up for a thrilling adventure to recover a legendary flying machine buried deep in the ruins of an ancient desert city. You'll need to coordinate with your teammates and use every available resource if you hope to survive the scorching heat and relentless sandstorms. Find the flying machine escape before you all become permanent artifacts of the Forbidden Desert. Forbidden Desert's great for ages 10 plus, plays 2 to 5 players, and takes about 45 minutes. Next up is Pandemic. As skilled members of a disease-fighting team, you must keep four deadly diseases at bay while discovering their cures. You and your teammates will travel across the globe treating infections while finding resources for cures. You must work as a team to succeed. Pandemic is a cooperative game. All players win or lose together. The clock is ticking as outbreaks and epidemics fuel the spreading plagues. Can you find all four cures in time? The fate of humanity is in your hands. Pandemic is great for players of eight or above. Plays two to four players and takes about 45 minutes. Pandemic Legacy is a unique and epic cooperative game for two to four players. Unlike most other games, some of the actions you take in Pandemic Legacy will carry over to future games. What's more, the game is working against you. Playing through the campaign, you will open up sealed packets, reveal hidden information, and find the secrets locked within the game. The clock is ticking and you will have only two chances to win in a month before moving to the next. Characters will gain scars, cities will panic, diseases will mutate, no two worlds will ever be alike. Pandemic Legacy is great for players of 13 and above, plays two to four players, takes about 60 minutes. In King of Tokyo, you'll roll dice, improve your monster, and smash other players to win the heavily coveted title of King of Tokyo. King of Tokyo is great for players eight and above, plays two to six players, making it an excellent family game, and takes only 30 minutes. You are a giant monster, and you want to become King of New York. Compete against other immense creatures and destroy everything in your path. In order to win, attack your enemies, crush high-rises, buy new abilities, become a star, and keep an eye on the army. The humans haven't thrown in the towel yet. King of New York is great for players 10 and above, can handle 2 to 6, and takes about 40 minutes. Create your own journey with Tesoro, the game of the path. Place a tile and slide your stone along the path created, but take care. Other players' paths can lead you in the wrong direction or off the board entirely. Find your way wisely to succeed by staying on the board. Stay the path. Tesoro is great for players 8 and above. It'll play 2 to 8 players, making it an excellent family slash party game and only takes about 20 minutes. In Tesoro of the Seas, you will sail the treacherous waters of the Mystic Seas in an engaging game of adventure and suspense. As the captain of one of the Emperor's mighty Red Seal ships, you will navigate the seas by placing Tesoro wake tiles to direct your vessel. Take great caution to avoid your opponent's ships and those mysterious lurking on the horizon and under the sea. Guide your ship with a steady hand and be the last captain sailing to survive the mystic seas and win. Tesoro of the Seas is great for players 8 and above. It will also play 2 to 8 players and takes 20 to 40 minutes. Embark on a quest to settle the island of Catan. 
Guide your settlers to victory by clever trading and cunning development. Use resource combinations, grain, wool, ore, brick, and lumber to buy handy development cards and build roads, settlements, and cities. Acquire your resources through trades, cards, or lucky dice, even outside of your turn. But beware, someone might cut off your road or buy a monopoly, and you never know when the wily robber might steal some of your precious gains. Catan is great for players ages 10 and above, plays with 3-4 to four players, and takes about 60 minutes. In a Game of Thrones Catan, Brotherhood of the Watch, your watch begins. Assemble your patrol and guard the wall against wildlings in a new strategy game based on George R.R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire. Build, defend, and rise above your brothers to become the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. A Game of Thrones Catan is great for players 14 and above. Three to four players takes 60 to 90 minutes. Ticket to Ride is a cross-country train adventure. Players collect cards of various types of train cars that enable them to claim railway routes connecting cities throughout North America. The longer the routes, the more points they earn. Additional points come to those who can fulfill their destination tickets by connecting two distant cities and to the player who builds the longest continuous railway. So climb aboard for some railroading fun and adventure. You've got a Ticket to Ride. Ticket to Ride is great for players 8 and over. Plays 2 to 5 players. Takes 30 to 60 minutes. Ticket to Ride Europe is the next installment in the best-selling train adventure series. Players collect cards of various types of train cars and use them to build stations, pass through tunnels, and onto ferries, and lay claim to railway routes throughout Europe. Ticket to Ride Europe is elegantly simple, can be learned in five minutes, and appeals to both families and experienced gamers. Ticket to Ride Europe is great for ages eight and above, can play two to five players, and takes 30 to 60 minutes. Cutting over to party games, we have Codenames Disney. Two teams compete to be the first to identify all of their team's treasure cards displayed on the grid. Only each team's clue master knows the location of the treasure cards their team is trying to find. They give clues in the form of a code word that will help their teammates find these Disney treasures. Be careful not to decipher a code incorrectly or you might help the other team. It's a race to identify all of your team's treasure cards first. Codenames, win or lose, figuring out the clues is great fun. Add a wealth of Disney treasures and it's simply amazing. Codenames Dizzy is great for players 8 and above. It'll play 2 to 8 plus players and only takes about 15 minutes. What are these strange symbols on the map? They code for locations where spies must contact secret agents in Codenames Pictures. Two rival spymasters know the agent in each location. They deliver coded messages telling their field operatives where to go for clandestine meetings. Operatives must be clever. A decoding mistake could lead to an unpleasant encounter with an enemy agent, or worse, with the assassin. Both teams race to contact all their agents, but only one team can win. Codenames Pictures is great for players 10 and above. It will play 2 to 8 plus players and each game takes about 15 minutes. The two rival spy masters know the secret identities of 25 agents. Their teammates know the agents only by their code names. The teams compete to see who can make contact with all their agents first. Spy masters give one word clues that can point to multiple words on the board. Their teammates try to guess words of the right color while avoiding those that belong to the opposing team. And everyone wants to avoid the assassin. Codenames, win or lose, it's fun to figure out the clues. Codenames is great for players 14 and above, can play 2 to 8 plus slayers, and each game takes about 15 minutes. Your quiet little 16th century village has suddenly become infested with some very unfriendly werewolves. Can can you and the other villagers find them before they eliminate everyone? Ultimate Werewolf is the easy to learn party game for 5 to 30 players of all ages. Each player has an agenda. As a villager, hunt down the werewolves. As a werewolf, convince the other villagers that you're innocent while secretly eliminating those same villagers each night. Ultimate Werewolf is great for players 13 and above. It can handle 5 to 30 players and each game takes about 30 to 90 minutes. One Night Ultimate Werewolf is a fast-paced game for 3 to 10 players where everyone gets a role. One of the werewolves, the tricky troublemaker, the helpful seer, or one of the dozen different characters, each with a special ability. Because it's so fast, fun, and engaging, you'll want to play it again and again, and no two games are ever the same. This game is fully compatible with One Night Ultimate Vampire and Daybreak. Ultimate Werewolf is great for players 8 and above, can handle 3 to 10 players, and takes about 10 minutes. In one night, Ultimate Alien, strange beings from the heavens have infiltrated your small village, bringing fearsome futuristic technology and an appetite for both villagers and cows. Fortunately, the village has many powerful inhabitants, most of whose goal is to save it from alien invaders. 
One Night Ultimate Alien is a fast game for 4 to 10 players where everyone gets a role. Scary technologically advanced aliens, the all-knowing leader, the tippable cow, or others, each with a special ability. In the course of a single evening, your village will decide who among them is an alien, because all it takes is finding one alien to win. Alien can also be combined with the original One Night Ultimate Werewolf, One Night Ultimate Daybreak, and One Night Ultimate Vampire games. One Night Ultimate Alien is great for players 8 and above, can handle 4 to 10 players, and games take 10 minutes. In the game Coup, you will enter a future where the government is run for profit. All but a privileged few live lives of poverty and desperation. Out of these oppressed masses are sown the seeds of a rebellion that throws the government into chaos. Many see hope for a brighter future for the first time in their lives. Others see an opportunity for absolute power. To take command, you must destroy the influence of your rivals and drive them into exile. Only one can survive. Coup is great for players 14 and above. It will play 2 to 6 players. Playtime of 15 minutes. Coup is a great party game or stocking stuffer. Speaking of stocking stuffers, we have In Love Letter, Win the Heart of the Princess. All the eligible young men, and many not so young, seek to woo the Princess of Tempest. Unfortunately, she has locked herself in the palace, and you must rely on others to bring your romantic letters to her. Will yours reach her first? Love Letter is a game of risk, deduction, and luck for two to four players aged ten and above. Get your love letter into the princess's hands while keeping other players' letters away. Powerful cards lead to early gains, but make you a target. Rely on weaker cards for two long and your letter will be tossed in the fire. Each game takes about 20 minutes. Sushi Go, the pick and pass card game. In this fast playing card game, the goal is to grab the best combination of sushi dishes while they whiz by, score points for making the most maki rolls, or for collecting a full set of sashimi. Dip your favorite nigiri in wasabi to triple its value, but be sure to leave room for dessert or else you'll eat into your score. Gather the most points and consider yourself the sushi master. Sushi Go is great for players 8 and above, 2 to 5 players, and plays in about 15 minutes. Exploding Kittens, a card game for people who are into kittens and explosions, and laser beams, and sometimes goats. The game is highly strategic, kitty-powered version of Russian roulette. Players draw cards until someone draws an exploding kitten, at which point they explode. They are dead. They are out of the game. Unless that player has a defuse card, which can defuse the kitten using things like laser pointers, belly rubs, and catnip sandwiches. All of the other cards in the deck are used to move, mitigate, and avoid the exploding kittens. Exploding Kittens is a great game for players 7 and above. Can play 2 to 5 players. It only takes 2 minutes to learn and about 15 minutes to play. Flux, the card game with ever-changing rules. New rules are cards that change the way you play. Actions let you shake the game up on your turn. Keepers are cards you collect for victory. 30 different goals to keep you on your toes. Flux is great for players 8 and above. Can play 2 to 6 players. Games last 5 to 30 minutes. Flux is an excellent stocking stuffer because you can always find a themed version to fit your gifty. We hope you enjoyed Paper Games Picks for family games, party games, and stocking stuffers. We hope everybody has a safe holiday season, and we'll see you again here at Paper Games.